All right, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you this little quick script I made for RetroPie, if you guys have ever used that for uh, emulation or whatever. Uh, I just released version 1.2, which has cloud saving enabled, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to show it to you real quick. I'm not going to do a whole setup since it'll be like a 20 minute video right there. But okay, here we go. We have an SSH into my Pi. It's now gone. Okay, so we have SSH into my Pi. And we also have copy of my current storage on my Pi. This is the, the uh, SMB share or network share. And as you see, I have some backups already, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Yes. And I'm going to go over to my cloud storage right here. This is not my main Google Drive. Do not use this with your main Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Now my Google Drive is now empty, and my storage is now empty. So the script is pretty easy to set up. There's a, a little bit of setup that goes into it, as I completely describe it on the um, readme file. Basically, all you gotta do is download two files and then just put them in folders and just see. L l let's see how many commands there are. There's two commands here, one, two, uh, one command there, and if you want to do um, automatic backup, there's two more. There's like th three more commands, so no big deal. All right, so let's just go ahead and see what it looks like when you run it. You can run this. You can put this script anywhere, which is pretty nice. I put some uh, direct paths in there. So, all right, let's do dot slash backup since I put it in my home folder. And let's see what happens. And we go ahead and run it. It go ahead and finds all my files. You can see here it says added Pokemon Red, Mario Land, Pokemon Crystal, Bomberman, uh, Police Knots, Mega Man Legends, Mega Man Link to the Past, Earthbound, and some N64 games. And now it zipped them up in a folder. It gave me an MD5. That's another thing I put in there. Don't ask why. But um, I had an issue with transferring files over Samba before. So I want to make sure that I always have a proper backup. So right, let's go back to Google Drive, and you see right here with Google Drive, we have Drive, which we don't really need, and we also have our backup zip file and our um, MD5 hash. So here's our MD5 hash that verifies that we can compare this to our backup, and here's our backup, and inside our backup is the folders that we have backed up. It doesn't back up anything you don't need, just your save files. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. It took me, I spent pretty much all day trying to get this stupid script to work. It's mostly a mishmash of tutorials I've seen for completely separate things all combined together. But yeah, so if you go back to your um, backups folder on your Raspberry Pi, you can see there's a new backup folder here. There's a archive, which also has the exact same things. And you also have your MD5 hash, which you can open in any folder. I'm oh, sorry, any text editor. And there we go. So it's pretty easy. Again, it, it takes a little bit of time to set up, but it's not that long. And like I said before, you can actually have it go every single night at midnight, backs up your save files to a cloud, so you never have to worry about losing them. So yeah, I hope you guys, it's helped you guys out. Um, I try to make this as simple to use as possible, but there is some things that you'll have to read in here. Uh, if you're interested, check the link in the description, and it will show you how to do it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.